Alright, hello guys, and welcome to your May 2019 forecast. Before I get started with this video, I wanted to mention that I'm leaving on a cruise today, so I'm going to be gone for seven days and not uploading. I know I haven't been uploading a lot as it is anyway, but I plan on, after getting back from the cruise, uploading a lot and getting right back into things uh, and trying to actively be bringing a lot of videos to you guys. So I do apologize, I am going to be gone for seven days, but I did want to leave you guys with this video because usually the monthly forecasts seem to get views for days and days and days. Uh, they don't really stop getting views, so this should um, kind of keep the channel rolling for just a little bit. Uh, but this is going to be a pretty big video. We have our temperature forecast, precipitation forecast, and then overall forecast. We're going to start with the temperature forecast. And you see we have uh, two different color schemes. Obviously the orange to red and then the blues. The blues is below average and we have three levels uh, within those. And that's really just like this, how cold do I think it's going to be or how warm. Or really just the, the percentage of how... Uh, much confidence I have there so we see within our yellow area here that extends from California up into some of the northern Rockies and then back around all the way to the eastern United States and that covers pretty much all of the eastern United States uh, and, and that's where we're going to be expecting slightly above average temperatures. We do have an area in Oregon, Washington, and Idaho where we're expecting uh, a pretty moderate amount of above average temperatures. So this should be the most above average temperatures we see across the United States. And then we do have a below average uh, temperature area for Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Colorado, and also New Mexico. We're going to move on to our precipitation forecast and not a lot going on here. We just have an area of slightly above average precipitation. This time of year it's really hard to predict uh, precipitation because you can get one thunderstorm for one county and that will put you above average but counties surrounding you are not. So that's why it's really hard to predict uh, at least for a, a, a you know a well above average precipitation I'm not going to be calling for that uh, just because again it's going to be so isolated and scattered and all over the place really but I do expect slightly above average t uh, precipitation from Wyoming down through Colorado New Mexico Texas Oklahoma Arkansas Louisiana Mississippi Alabama Georgia South Carolina and Florida now we're gonna be moving on to our overall forecast and I'm going to move from west to east. We see warmer than normal there for the Pacific Northwest, obviously. Again, I have a lot of confidence uh, that it's going to be pretty warm there. But really from the west coast up into the northern United States and then back into the east coast of the United States, I am pretty confident as well that it will be quite warm. We are expecting normal conditions in this gray area, so not a lot to be mentioned for Arizona, Utah, uh, and then western Colorado, most of Wyoming and southern uh, South Dakota as well. We are expecting below average temperatures there for Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, Colorado, New Mexico as well. Uh, within those areas I am expecting below average temperatures. And then the heart of severe weather should be set up for Iowa down through Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi and portions of Tennessee as well. Again, further east than typical, but that's been the trend this year. And then we have stormy and warm there for the southeastern United States, Florida, portions of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Maryland, D.C., Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina. Those areas were expecting some storminess uh, and warm, but not as much of, of the severe weather as the severe weather region is going to be expecting. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next monthly forecast. Again, after this week is up next Monday, I will be back, and I am going to be uploading more videos again. Anyway, guys, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.